Our weather team is still working tonight to determine how much snow we'll have to shovel and when it'll show up. I mean, this is a challenge to track these winter weather events. Meteorologist Rob Ellis takes us inside the process and explains why you shouldn't believe everything you see online. I think one of the things that we try to do as meteorologists is get the right messaging for the event that's moving through and also how do you package and message how much you know about a storm and how much you don't know about a storm. When things are, you know, a week out, we really try not to give you in high snowfall total numbers that models may be spitting out because they're going to change so dramatically. We try to be responsible and conservative with our forecast so that once the system gets a little bit closer and we have a lot more confidence in that part of the forecast, uh, we, we know things will still change a bit, but we can definitely bring you a forecast that won't change as dramatically. Even this forecast is going to change over time as more and more data gets put into the computer models, and that gives us a little bit more confidence in the forecast. Things can and do change in the science of meteorology. Uh, it's just how do you package that message moving forward so the, the public really has a good idea of what to expect. One of the things that has become much more prevalent is just how often anyone can access weather data and that can be both a good thing and a bad thing when you're talking about you know computer forecast models that are highly variable and not all of the public understands that that things can change a week out so dramatically so sometimes you do see these incredible viral posts on social media that show these incredible snowfall totals but usually that tends to get massaged and and damped down as you get a little bit closer to the event as more data comes in so as the meteorologist you have to be responsible with that information. If this were a, a snow system, a purely snow system or a purely rain system, it's challenging, but really it's just about getting the snowfall totals right. If this were a rain snow line event, that's a challenge as well, but it's not like this system where you have icing involved, that's really dynamically changing your snowfall totals. Uh, it's about letting the public understand that don't just look at a snowfall total map. It may be about ice impacts, how it's gonna impact the road, the timing of the event, and the other socioeconomic impacts that go along with that that may need to change the messaging. This system looks to be purely kind of a, a central part of the country system that's just gonna march across the Midwest. There's not a lot of lake influence from this. Uh, it's really just gonna be how much moisture is gonna be involved. And also, the real tricky part of the forecast is how much of this warm air kind of rides over top of that to lead to some of the icing concerns, the sleet, the freezing rain that really makes this a very complicated forecast.